guys. Um, I decided to do a quick video tonight on um, an app called Candy Bar, which allows you to change default icons for programs and applications in Mac OS X. Um, art Text, which is kind of a word art for Mac, basically. Uh, it's a whole lot better than uh, word art on Word, definitely. Like 3D, it's it's awesome. Um, I did a video on, well, in this video, there'll be a video on what's in my dock, um, and other little things like that that uh, I just want to do a video on, so I uh, hope you enjoy it, and, uh, well, you get the idea. Okay, guys, um, well, first off, I'm going to show you an app called Candy Bar which I keep in my little Western Digital, the Passport ones, uh, the little bitty ones. The two, It's a 250 gig uh, Passport drive. And I keep a lot of my applications that I really don't use that often on here so that it doesn't take up space on my laptop hard drive. And this is just stuff that I never use or that I would really never need if I had it away. Whoa. Let's see. You get the idea. I don't use this that often. Or I'm not going to use it when my laptop is by itself. Okay, so here's Candy Bar. I'm going to open it. And it's going to load these icons. These are your default icons that it gives you. Um, and it says finding all my applications. If you've ever um, wanted to change a default icon uh, so to speak, like, this is actually Microsoft Word 08. I have the whole Office 08 suite, but I just keep Word down here. I didn't really, I don't really care for the 08 icon. Uh, I don't really like the white border around the letters, so I decided to change it. And I couldn't really figure out how to, so I googled, you know, searched a bit, and found this. And on this, uh, let's see, you're good, when you first open it, it's going to take you to this. It's going to load all your icons. And I believe, yeah, this is all the system icons, and you can change any of these, you know. But if you want to change any applications, you'll just click this, which is see, change application icons. And it'll load up all your applications like you saw earlier. And you can scroll down. Here, let's make it bigger. Okay. Uh, and it takes all your utilities and everything, I believe. So, um, you know, here's every application slash utility, whatever, that you have on your laptop. Um, and as you can see, here's the Microsoft Word. There's, let's see. I changed the entire Office back to the Office 04. I think it's 04. Uh, the icons, just because I like this better. And uh, I, if you find an icon that you like, you can just drag it into this, and you can see down here, this is the old one, the little quick drop space over here. Uh, and then these are some that I found online. Uh, just Google search, and you can, you can find a whole bunch of alternative icons for Word. So what you do is uh, I'll, take, I'll take this out. And uh, to take, like once you add, an, once you change an icon, to take it away, just drag it out, and you you see the little thing, kind of like you're taking something out of the dock. In order to poof out, and it says changes are ready to be applied, and you just click apply. You'll type in your password. If you can type it in right, and it'll change it. And it'll ask you if you want to restart the dock. So we'll relaunch it. And as you can see, it's back to that. Uh, and at any point, if you've changed a whole bunch and you want to just get them all back to default, you can scroll up to the top and you can just click Restore Icons. And every icon that you've changed, it'll restore back to its default original icon. So we'll go back down to Word. And this is the icon that I like. And I just drag it into the Word. And you'll see the plus. And it changes. And then you'll just click Apply. And once you've typed in your password one time, it won't ask you for it again. And you don't have to relaunch the dock, but I do, just because I like to see that down there. Okay. 
So, like I said, if you find any icons that you like, I just you'll click the applications and then my icons, and you can just drag them up. I think uh, with the trial version, you'll only have it 14 days, and uh, you can only have 200 icons, which I don't see how anybody could ever have that many, but maybe maybe you can. But uh, let's see. This little thing here is a. I actually use WebKit. I'm sure you know what it is. It's basically the Safari engine or something like that, but I'd use the WebKit nightly builds. I just like WebKit better than Safari. It's, it looks exactly the same. Here, I'll show you. Uh, I actually have the Firefox start page just because it's quicker. Uh, it looks exactly like Safari. Everything works exactly like Safari. It even says Safari in the menu bar. But these are just the little incremental updates, and I think WebKit is faster than Safari, even though it sort of is the exact same thing. So that's Candy Bar. You can also change the dock. Uh, I've never, I haven't messed with the dock. I'm sure you can just drag in an image, and you know you got the little separator options, how big you want the active indicators, all that good stuff. And then you can also change the little icons like this here on the side Macintosh HD time machine and then my passport drive so you can do a whole lot of stuff with candy bar and it makes it super easy um, I'm not sure how much this costs I swear time machine always backs up at the most inconvenient times but this will be okay I'm not sure how much it costs and uh, yeah I believe you can find it on the twin so but you didn't hear that from me. So we'll quit that. Let's see, is there any other apps that I wanted to show you? Yeah, I'll go ahead and show you this one. This is called Art Text. I'm not sure if you've heard of it or anything like that. It's basically a crazy good word art. Um, you have all these different things like line and fill, and that's just kind of your basic word art that you'd find in Microsoft Word. You can go to shaded. I personally like which one is that? They got previews and everything. We'll find. Let's see. Anyway, not sure which one that was. But you can go down here and select whatever and type in whatever you want. You like you get it the way you want it. You can change the textures and stuff. You've got options, you know. We'll change it to just We'll do black and blue because I like that one. And then you just export. You click export. And you can change where you want to export it by dragging that around. We'll just leave it like that. Continue. And then it'll ask you where you want to do it. So we'll save that as Apple. You know, and I want it to go to my desktop. And you just click save. And there it is. We'll and that's just a picture you can drag into pages or I'm pretty sure you can drag it into Word, anything like that and you have your your own like customized Word art that nobody else will have. So that's that. Uh, also, this is not free. I'm not sure how much it costs but you can find this on the torrents too. We'll delete that. 